We will come and find you and you will be asked to leave. Oi, Ryan! That did you justice whatsoever. Any of you haters saying that this is not a race car, I would say it is. Guys, I've got the ST pulled up here. It's going to be safe for the rest of the day. All I can say is, it's early morning. We're off to Forge Action Day in this little beast right here. The Mod 2 ST with an RS conversion. It's freezing. And we're going to get a move on. It's a modified car, man. They're just terrible. Another ST has just rocked up. As we have another pre facelift with the white wheels. What do you think? It's just interesting that he doesn't have drilled and grooved on the front just to avoid all the brake squeal, but I do like it all the same. Yes, I think the GT86 is just completed with that spoiler. The aero kit is amazing and it's got an Acropovic. This Fiesta is, no, it's amazing. I love it. We saw this in a previous video. We have the Sirocco that is currently up for sale and the uh, Mark II ST fake RS that looks sick as To Carl Secune, guys, we're heading around the back. Just pass the white car. Yeah, yeah. They're on the left, right? All right, mate. Yeah, guys, we're at the modified detailing stand today, rocked up in the Mark II Focus ST RS conversion, all set the Fiesta, the V dub machine, and uh, the G86 with the spoiler. <laughs> guys, look at this absolute masterpiece. Alongside this one as well. Looks clear. And the Shelby. Shelby. Sick. Cool. I know, man. That's that looks that. seriously cool. How many of you haters saying that this is not a race car? I would say it is. Really it is a race car right here. Oh yeah, the K of race. I see how it is. There we go. Bath Motorsport represent. But yeah, it looks pretty I cool, man. one out for the Focus. Yeah. This gentleman has a Focus ST as well, which is over there somewhere. But yeah, just to any of the haters, this is a an actual track car that's actually going on track, Luke. Yes, we are. Three there we go, today. guys. To those of you that know, you know. Look at this beast. Well, that's a bit interesting. Oh man, this is a Welsh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm bothering. At least he's got his drive shaft done. You got it fixed? It's done in a fashion. Yeah, in a fashion Good mate. man. Hello there. Hello. Right, guys, if you uh, like cars that aren't fault as well, that underscore Ed underscore lad for this thing. Yeah. Pretty nice though, but we'll come and have a look at this later on. Oh, There's actually quite a few of these here today. Mile 1 Golf as well, track spec, ready to go on Coombe. Nice. Mark 2 ST, yeah boy. Hi Josh. Yo guys, how are you? Not too bad. Happy just birthday just, for the other day. Thank you man, I'm just seeing this RX-7. Thanks for the oh, calipers. No worries, no worries. Just got to look around this. Absolute beast. Be careful not to step on the off. Yeah, watch out for that. Got a real race car. 100%. Look at that cannon on the back. Unreal. Right, so I came to speak to the guys here at Miltec and we were checking out all of their cars. But what they did just say is in the future we can go look at the whole build process for some of these exhaust systems but this absolute monster is going on track today over there here at castle Coon. but yeah there's no focus sts here but i'm here with richard the gentleman that brought me over here and we're gonna go and have a little look round. hello <laughs> guys, honestly i think these are so cool Sick. look at the engine though i don't know if it's smoothed off but it's stunning so nice absolute weapon vice versa with these I know you've got a little What do you guys make of this? Same with this as well, smoothed off front end. Looks cool. And then they've got what? Chaser? Stunning. So nice. I've got plenty of time for a Mark III Focus RS, especially one that's representing MJ Performance down here. But yeah, guys, we've got the heat wrapped crossover pipe, programmer induction kit as well. Real genuine carbon fiber as well, that's what you want. Bit of RX7 boys. Look at that. Cars of dreams right there. Naughtiness. Genuine carbon bonnet as well. So damn cool. Royal Mail's what got to the car show boys, isn't it? 34 Spotland. Another chaser. A couple of RX5s. Another chaser and uh, Sora, beautiful. Hi right, guys, I take back what I said earlier. This isn't a Datsun, it's a uh, Nissan 280Z. Thanks to Luke, he's just corrected me on that one. <laughs> right, to any of you that don't know, this is the sound testing. So you're not allowed on track if your car is above a certain decibel level. So they bring their cars in here. And uh, yeah, 
uh, as you can see the ST170 is going through sound testing as well. I don't know what the actual dB level is. But yeah, this is what they're doing. It's just the legality side behind going on, on track here at Castle Coombe. There's a ton of Fords, our Resses and Escorts and all kinds of mad stuff. Right, this wins the nicest engine Bay Award. Here we go. Derbyshire RS Owners Club represent. I'm pretty sure they're using the Hydro Shot. Which of these uh, yeah, portable yeah, pressure washer type things, but they're pretty useful. <laughs> I love the low line kit and the wheels. Looks cool. Guys, another Mark II ST225. Mark III here looking really cool. And we've got a white ST225 here. Awesome. Supra. Now that is cool. Awesome. Legend LBTV is now going on track. Good luck to you, my friend. If you own an ST, you're a. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we are. Another Ford Club. What can I say? We have a Ford Fiesta. And I think, is this the. Uh, ST200, I'm not quite sure actually. ST180 look like all the same. Zeta gas. I approve of this. What do you guys reckon of the Maxim design diffuser on this? That's pretty cool. Alongside the wheels and you know the stickers around the lights and stuff, it looks pretty nice. Instagram. Well the Mark 1 RS has a clean bottom. There we go. This looks similar to the guy that runs the Southwest Focus Owners Club. Yeah. Cool. If you're watching my channel because you like cars and you don't know what one of these is, unsubscribe, dislike the video, and off you but no, it's an R26, it's a beautiful car. It won the Nürburgring world record in 2006. Awesome piece of kit. Yes. Well, guys, if you know, you know. We love an Escort Cosworth. Beautiful. Right, not only has this guy got some crazy brave front splitter, but it's got a GoPro mount on it. So yeah, if you chew up your splitter, you can get GoPro footage in 4K. I mean, that's, that's what you want, isn't it? This is the OG Paul Walker mobile right here. Absolute car of dreams, goals, you know? If any of you girls are watching these videos and you haven't yet bought your boyfriend an R34 Skyline, sort it out. Right guys, the nicest Skyline GTR today goes to this one. The Auto Junkies Black R34. Oh. You know what, I probably got it wrong as well. The amount of times I make mistakes on these cars. There's a Sora right there as well, 4 litre GT. But this is just stunning. Guys, what do we have here? We have some Trap Ready ST150. Beautiful looking machine. Mark II SC represent, yet again with the bonnet lifters. Sick. Oh, it's SC225. Guys, this is just something else. I know nothing about it, but it said Ford Racing on it. And Holly, Holy, something like that. But yeah. Race car. So it's called a Ford Popular Pro Street 1955. And it's running a 480 CI big block, 7.5 litre, 500 brake. You having a laugh? What have you seen? Oh, the big ass. <laughs> <laughs> Them huge tyres, they're massive. Okay, yeah, guys, we've got another ST225 build right here. Don't know what you want to call this colour, but it's nice all the same. We're dealing with an RS conversion. Looks like a similar boss kit set up to me. The ST3 radio, M Tech Engineering custom shifter. Yeah, guys, the flake on this paint is unreal. Right, Adam has just asked me. So we have this amazing Ford Popular right here, and obviously the RS. Now, what he's curious about is, is it nitrous blue or British gas blue, courtesy of Adam's girlfriend? So I don't know. I don't really know what to go with. Let us know in the comments. I know it won't come across the same on camera. But yeah, this absolute beast right here, believe it or not, has more power than this. So yeah, amazing. Um, I'm not going to bug him anymore. It pretty much looks like I'm stalking him right now. Uh, yeah, I promise you he won't be on the thumbnail either, but Adam, it's lovely to see you all the same. That's fine. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wazzle represent, buys himself a TVR, V8 swaps it, and this thing is over 500 brain. It's an absolute monster. What do you guys reckon of this? This TVR, mate, trust me, it's tail happy. This thing is a beast. It's from Plymouth. Lovely little car. He lives out in the moors. And funnily enough, when I got my 350Z, he was one of the first people to take me sideways. Amazing piece of kit. Guys, what have we got going on here? It's like a Jurassic Park car that I'm telling you right now, if you were running away from a Tyrannosaurus Rex, you'd have no chance. But guys, look what they've got on the side. Look. F***ing Drongos, mate. Do you know who this is, mate? Any idea who that is? This has got to be where all the bags are coming from. It must be. 
Is this where all the bags are coming? Yeah. There we go then. Kyle. Guys, your questions have been answered. The MX-5 is the one making all the noise. You're gonna have to give it another bang now, man. You've got people watching. <laughs> yeah, go for it, man. Yes! Oh, I love that. <laughs> Mate, thank you so much. All right, guys, in case you're into this kind of thing, MX-5 stuff, there you go. We need another one. We need another one. We, need another one. we don't want to hear the tannoy. Around here. <laughs> They can hear the people that are popping and banging and sitting on the, the, the rev limiter, etc, etc, in the paddock and think it's great. Please, I'm asking you now, very politely, don't do it. If you're going to sit there, absolutely hammering away on your exhaust in your club stand, we will come and find you and you will be asked to leave. We're at Castle Coombe, this is why we have noise limits and this is why the cars are noise tested to go out on circuit and when you're sitting in your area, basically behave yourself. I'm sorry I've got parental and everyone's behave going, yourself. Oh, doing this for. All right, watch I yourself. Right, Luke, you know where you are, man. You know where you are. Right, he's not going to see me, but we have Luke right here, ready to go and smash everyone. He's definitely not going to notice. I will uh, film it all the same. Guys, as you know, I'm not a massive BMW fan, but this stood out. I really, really like this. For the record, it's not an air ride. I'm assuming it's springs or callovers. It's got a really sick little low-line kit, slash cut tips, private number plate saying Pingu, um, a second-hand, definitely used, likewise, rotational shifter dildo, a boss kit type wheel type thing. I don't know if it comes off, but all the same, it's got a unicorn on it, and it looks really, really sick. All right, guys, the Escort RS is looking absolutely mad as per. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much how it works. You can see underneath the engine bay here with the way that they put the mirrors. But yeah, amazing piece of kit. But you guys already know a car like this is always going to be clean anyway. But beautiful, appreciating asset right here, the Escort RS Cosworth. Go on, do it for the boys. Do it for the boys. Give it a rev. Yes, boys. <laughs> Come on then. Yes, boys. That's what we like to see. Ferraris all day. STs for days. So we like to see. He's been on officially gas channel, this guy. Toyota GT86, Max and Design front splitter. A Celica with a body kit on it and a uh, kit car. Look, spotted. Orange Focus ST facelift right here with some nice little halos in the front. DRLs, ST badges, and Bert represent GCM to live approval. <laughs> Shame right here. So let me know in the comments what you think of this. This is not a wrap. It's actually stickers. You can feel them individually. This is the real deal. Must have taken some serious time. But yeah, I don't know what he must have got bored on the bonnet because he didn't put any stickers on the bonnet. But honestly, that's that's cool because it's different. I like it. But yeah, it's got a wide arch kit as well. Sick one. Ryan, hello. We're at the Slammed um, Trade Stand, I suppose, right now. Obviously, the Forge Action Day. And uh, are you hooking up your missus with some sick clothes or what? You know, it's about time I bought some good clothes, but like I said, guys, over here, I just bought one of these Slam t-shirts right here, and hopefully I'll get some more in the future. We represent me, a single turbo 135i. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful piece of kit. Corley, I'm only recording this for you. M54s with a single turbo are absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, look at this badass piece of kit. I somehow, Rich has made me eat a burger. Birthday present of the absolute gods. Did you guys make it the M6? Yeah, buddy, I saw you. If you're watching this video, I saw you, bro. That's how you do it. <laughs> Smart. And he's got that screamer pipe up. Yeah, boy. Like, we're used to like slammed cars and stuff, but bro, this guy's got fitment. Look at this. This guy's got lows, bro. How do you feel having gone from an ST to a BMW though? I actually quite like it. Yeah, I've already ordered a set of wheels. Ah, nice. Yeah. So you've gone from a facelift black ST3 to this, yeah. and now you want to get an ST again? Yeah. Yes, mate, loyal to the cause, yeah. represent. <laughs> you know how much I love an Evo, but all the same. Four wheel drive, 65 brake, what more could you want? No, I'm kidding. 650 horsepower, and the owner had the audacity to say, I quote, only 650 horsepower. Yeah, only 306 horsepower in mine. But yeah, guys, we've got cannons on the front in carbon. Awesome looking car. Guys, we found some more STs. We have a facelift blue one with a sunroof, which is a very rare option. And we have a 55 plate Mark II pre facelift. 
with no offence mate, some very badly gold wrapped crossover pipes. But yeah, that's not a bad thing, that doesn't say anything about the car, you know, that can be fixed, doesn't take long. But yeah, it's just nice to see a red one to be honest. Guys, had to give a feature on this. Naughty piece of kit right here. I missed my 350Z, but I was never brave enough to do the rocket bunny body kit. Sick one. Oh yeah, boy. Got to have a feature. And Luke. Not quite sure what to say with the wooden front splitter. Fair play to you, mate. I think your induction kit's coming out the front, mate. What's going on there? Guys, look at this by ear. All these ST owners are from Wales. Guys, this big lad over here. They've come all the way from Wales basically to show me this epic piece of kit. Mark II RS running gear. Obviously loads of custom mods that you guys can already tell. But it's a bit of a beast. We've got, looks like, BD Performance oil breather kit as well. But all the same, this has got loads of custom mods that I really, really like. Dealing with a wide arch kit as well. Again, the RS running gear will do that. BD Performance represent. Honestly, look how sick this is. This is an absolute beast. That wide arch kit is insane. But yeah, this is this is gold. So motivation for any of you guys watching, let me know in the comments if you approve. Right guys, so any of you wondering, this has got all the mods that I don't have yet, that I basically want. I know we've turned the engine off, but that's okay. I want these really badly. And I also want these. Oh no, they've turned on now. There we go, guys. If you have any connections or any links to this company, please get in touch. But all the same, it would look so sick in my car. Right guys, I'm a little bit curious. We have a little bit of an issue here. I'm not gonna mention who owns this car, but taking it on track, uh, we have oil exploded all over here, shitload of oil down by the oil filter housing, and near enough, what, 85% of the coolant has gone. Now, if any of you know, let me know in the comments section, is this dial to low compression and a head issue? So is he gonna have to replace the engine, simply get a block mod, or is it just simply a, a fix he can do with replacing a silicon hose? Let me know in the comments, you absolute legends. So that, there we go, race car. Here we go, it's gonna... I'll have a bit of this all day. Beautiful. We've got the NSX and we've got the S2000, the S2K. BMW, a rear wheel drive drift beast, and we've got the orange and blue Porsche. No idea what you are, but you're different, so that makes you cool. What do we have here? R32, 33, and a Porsche. Uh, Volkswagen Passat, I think, on that ride. Fiesta, with a gravity sticker on it. Old school Corsa. Is that even a Corsa? I don't know. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments. But what I can tell you is it's been looked after. I kid you not. What I tried to describe there is it's sort of like a beige and gold. Oh, right. That did you no know justice whatsoever. This is my dad's right. buying an induction kit. He's not even my dad, but still he's buying an induction kit. Credit where it's due is one sexy engine there. Full focus. Yeah, boy. ST170. That's stunning. I mean, what can I say? Beautiful. 